Today, an historic election in Framingham. Voters are casting their ballots to choose that city's first ever mayor. Framingham used to be a town with selectmen and town meetings. But earlier this year, voters decided that their home is now big enough to become a city with a mayor and a city council. WBZ's Paul Burton headed to Framingham to talk to the candidates who want the top job. On a crisp fall morning in Framingham, yes. the competition for mayor heats up. It's warm enough, it's getting hot. We need a guy like you. You got forethought. Residents are excited to elect the very first mayor after they voted to adopt a city form of government. Louis Merloni has lived here for 79 years. I feel very happy about it. You know, we're, we're a city now. And we can play like the big boys. So. No guts, no glory, and definitely we're doing our best. Mayoral candidates Yvonne Spicer, an executive at Boston's Museum of Science, and former state rep John Stefanini spent the day crisscrossing their way around the city, shaking hands, giving hugs, and grinning ear to ear. <laughs> right now, there is such electricity and energy in this city, and uh, nothing but Spicer love this morning. Today, in this historic election, we're, our town clerk predicts 50%, which is 20,000 voters. Wow. That shows you it's, how big this is. This is this is a huge day for Framingham. Framingham is expecting a voter record turnout for its first ever mayoral race. The mayor will serve a four-year term. The biggest concern that's on voters' minds has to do with education and opportunity for small businesses. They want to see our four underperforming schools, the kids at those schools who are no less intelligent, no less capable, to have the same opportunities that the kids do in every one of our other schools. How do we change this city for the better, that they're good jobs, good paying jobs for the people in this community? The polls close at 8 p.m. in Framingham. I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.